from your experience um, in the in the jails of the Israeli occupying forces, and you know several people's movements across the world, and they want to be helpful and they do something. From your own experience, what do you advise us? What can we do to support health activists and practitioners who are inside the jail? What can we do? What are the best? What can be effective? Okay. Uh, because the people, uh, health movement and other uh, movement, um, uh, you know, they are defending uh, the right. Uh, I mean, uh, sometimes it's important to focus on certain category in, inside the communities, like uh, the, one of that, the prisoners. And, uh, um, yeah, and because the, 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 uh, the issue of Palestinian prisoners I mean, uh, it's very harsh experience, and uh, more, more like around two thirds of Palestinian people they exposed to prison, and uh, because they, and there is no respect for international law uh, about their rights and, and about their uh, cause and the sentence for prison, because you know we as a prisoners inside the, uh, the Israeli occupation. Uh, uh, present, we are considered uh, freedom fighters, and uh, we are uh, we want our liberation. We want our um, you know self determination. That uh, that's why uh, I mean the issue of a prisoner. It should be an international issue. It is part of the solution for Palestine in general, and the, the present in specific uh, the prisoners in specific, and uh, uh, inside the the, uh, the jail and inside the prisons. I mean. Many things need to be uh, need international uh, um, activists and movement. Mainly the uh, the sick prisoners, uh, the prisoners with cancers, the prisoners with the chronic disease, the prisoners with uh, uh, limitation with disabilities, uh, and uh, you know, um, uh, and the uh, any focus on the negligence. Uh, of of health management inside the presence. One of that, like last week, uh, we, uh, we lost uh, like Um Ala Saadiya Farajallah. She is one of the prisoners, female prisoners, inside the jail. Uh, and uh, people uh, who uh, who died inside the jail, they do not give the body for the family. And this is one issue. You know that uh, at least. Um, uh, to bear them uh, under, you know, the tradition of Muslims or Christian or whatever. Uh, they uh, keep them unless, until they finish their sentence. And some of them, they took like 100 years or more, or 200. Um, so they, the family, they do not receive the, uh, the body. Uh, there is a lot of issue. They can uh, people have movement. They can or other. They can uh, uh, focus. Like this is one part of that. The uh, the body of the deaf people. The negligence inside um, uh, campaigns for uh, um, the elderly people, the chronic disease and cancer patient. Why they should be released soon and immediately, and uh, the. Uh, Palestinian uh, people, they will take care of their uh, of them, and they can feed them outside if they will not give given appropriate uh, treatment. Also, uh, we need like if if uh, I mean, don't know if uh, will it could be uh, um, happen that the international health uh, networks and movements and so on, they can send. With the uh, with uh, cooperation and coordination with the Red Crescent uh, to send an expert to assess the health situation of the prisoners, the health situation of the places and the clinics inside the uh, inside the jail, and how much this uh, competent uh, for uh, uh, you know managing the care and the health care of the uh, prisoners inside. So yes, there is a lot of issue. It could be uh, raised at the international level, and the importance of that. 
at first of all, is to free the prisoners because they are political prisoners. Uh, according to the uh, to the convention to the Geneva Conventions, yeah, war uh, prisoners. Yep. Yeah, war prisoners. I mean, if and they do not treat us as our prisoners. If we are war prisoners, I mean, we should be released, and they should be released. I highlight the most important things, as uh, you know, uh, and also um, if th there is a human rights international coalition. Uh, to focus a lot on uh, the investigation period. Yeah. Because it's very hard. The condition is very difficult. The isolation that they, the prisoners they are faced is terrible. Is you give us a very good campaign agenda for to work on it. Thank you very much yeah. for that. You are welcome. Um, finally, do you have anything to share with us, especially... If you want to talk about your future plans, what you what you plan to do during the coming month years? Okay, I uh, before that I want to uh, to add something and comment on something. Yeah. Where yes, we are talking about the difficult experience and a difficult situation inside. But I want to talk about the challenges uh, and how much the prisoners and the women inside how they are very powerful and very active very they are i mean they are they have a very the agent inside of them how to overcome these challenges for for example um, inside the inside the present they are very organized they use their time in very appropriate way there is time always for reading there is time for sport there is time for having a social gathering. There is time for celebrating our social uh, uh, life, like uh, birthdays, like uh, uh, you know, marriage in your uh, in your house. So we do, we do some things for them inside uh, 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 during the Eid. Um, uh, it was, for me, for example, uh, last Eid I was there. It was for me the first time uh, I saw uh, the Eid praying and the Eid al al khutbah. Uh, the, one of the girls, she did the khutbah and the other one, she did the imam. And for me, it was, they are very strong and they are very powerful. And, uh, you know, in, in the playground uh, that we have, of course, that uh, they, there is a surrounding, uh, they, uh, they pray and uh, they... Uh, uh, they give the khutbah and they do the imam. And this is this uh, kind of view. I never see it outside. And I said, I mean, why women, they can't do this. They, they can do it in the jail, but they can do it outside. The most important things, always they have time for discussions in issue related, political issue, social issue, security issue, you know, uh, how to protect yourself inside the jail from the managers from the inspectors, you know, because they try to intervene between the prisoners. And also there is uh, academic uh, teaching. Some of them, they finish their tawjih, they uh, the high school. They teach each other. And they did an exam outside with the coordination with the Ministry of uh, Prisoners and the, the uh, Red Crescent. Now there is an eight girls uh, who have um, high uh, uh, years of uh, sentence, uh, they are enrolled in the universities and they are at the level of third year. They, they are studying social uh, worker. And I was responsible on the scientific committee that uh, I taught the courses uh, with Al-Quds University, Open University, and we manage even this kind of uh, 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 school uh, study and uh, uh, university is not allowed inside the prison. So this is kind of a challenge. We, they call it the secret teaching, the secret academic teaching. And uh, they do uh, lectures, uh, they do presentation, they do papers, uh, very uh, high quality. Uh, the ideas uh, they, uh, they put 
inside, the exhibition they put inside. And um, always we celebrate by the end of the semester and we talk to, to the other groups about their papers and about uh, their uh, uh, achievements uh, in general. Um, oh, and there is a library they, they, there and we have a library club. They, they establish a library club, uh, club to uh, do some competition between the, between the prisoners who reads more. So there is a lot of, always, like there is a dynamic uh, inside and uh, using their time, they are very, you, can, you will be very admired knowing how they think, how they are uh, uh, accepting, not accepting, they are uh, converting this kind of uh, stress to opportunity to overcome uh, the uh, challenges. Uh, the um, the solidarity between uh, each other is very very good. Uh, I have family there, and they uh, they and some of them they consider it, uh, consider them uh, consider me uh, as uh, their mothers and their family. And uh, when I left, uh, it was very hard for me. Thank you very um, much for for sharing. This is very inspiring and. Yeah. And we continue to learn a lot from the resistance of Palestinians inside yeah. the jail and outside the jail. Of course. Now I'm talking, uh, I'm returning back to the <laughs> to the question that what I'm going to do. I, unfortunately, my sentence uh, is not to go back again to the work uh, for five years. And if I return back to the work, uh, to the organization or other organization considered illegal from their perspective, I will be go back again to the jail for 12 months. So be, I'm working I'm, uh, in the field uh, since uh, more around 40 years. I start my work during my, when I, when I am a student. So I, I guess I'm in the time of to, uh, uh, to resign and uh, I did already. And I should take care of myself and my family and uh, my health. But I will not be outside, um, uh, just on home. Um, maybe I will enroll and I start to look for that, to go to university education, uh, teaching in general, uh, or do freelancing. Uh, because I like to do kind of research training and uh, admin consultation, health management uh, consultation. And I'm competent in this issue and uh, uh, I will be further volunteer for uh, uh, involving in different, uh, you know, activities and uh, uh, not to be away from the civil society and from human rights uh, and health uh, defending rights. In general, this is my plan, and uh, I will see. But I still, I'm, I am in a break till now. Thank you very much, uh, Shada, for, for sharing this experience with us. And I hope that you will overcome the hardship you passed through uh, during the time in, in the jail. But also, um, we value what you shared with us about inspiring us how resistant people inside. And again, as I said, we continue to learn from the Palestinians' resistance inside and outside uh, the jail. Uh, this interview will be available in the 29th issue of People's Health Dispatch, uh, the health um, fortnight newsletter published by uh, PHM and People's uh, Dispatch. It was co-authored and uh, with the support of our comrades at uh, Viva Salud, who are launching a campaign, um, uh, not a target, uh, about the shrinking space of health workers and activists. Um, also, as I said, we are committed as People's Health Movement to continue to defend Palestinian rights uh, uh, to land, to life, to freedom, and to health. This is what we can promise, and we will all we will continue get inspired by Palestinian uh, um, uh, resistance. 
And this campaign that will um, be launched by Viva Salud will start in September this uh, uh, year. Uh, please follow us at um, uh, social media uh, to stay up to date with our activities. And we thank Shaza once again, and we conclude the session at this point, unless Shaza wants to share anything else with us. Uh, thank you, uh, Hani, for uh, uh, the interview. And um, uh, and I guess this interview, not because I'm talking on it, but it's, um, I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's important that uh, people and the People Health Movement and the People Dispatch and other watchers uh, to know the more detailed things about our life inside the present. I mean, maybe they have the general idea, but the detailed things, Sometimes uh, the human aspect, the, uh, the life, the difficulties, the challenges, uh, uh, these uh, human stories, I mean, this is important, people, they, it's important to listen to these kind of uh, stories. And it will um, increase the uh, and the volume, uh, the uh, solidarity with, with us in general. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.